So, listen, I, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about Donald Trump on this channel. Um, I did one make one video already, but I, I as I've been processing this ridiculous conviction, um, I just feel like I do have to make one more video on it. Not as a... Not to come out and say, well, I love Donald Trump. I'm a Robert Kennedy supporter. I'm still very likely to continue supporting him. However, and this is what Democrats have to really, really, really understand. There are millions of Americans. Now, I'm Canadian, so my vote doesn't matter. My support doesn't really matter anyway. But there are millions of Americans who think more independently, who think more like maybe a libertarian. There's millions. Possibly tens of millions. I promise you, most of us do not think that Trump should be in jail or convicted for these reasons. There is other war crimes that they could that you could charge him for, absolutely, and he did those. But the reason they don't charge him for that is because you'd have to charge Biden, Obama, Cheney, Clinton, Bush. You'd have to throw them all in jail. And then what would happen? Because you don't just throw people in jail, you got to go through the process, right? They're all going to lawyer up, and they all have a lot of money, some more than others. And they're going to start singing like canaries, and they're going to start exposing how the government really is ran, or how the government is really ran. The president really doesn't have that much say. But when it all comes down to it, there are rich and powerful people that are in charge of the government, the military-industrial complex, the CIA, Wall Street, etc., etc. These are nameless, faceless people. Some of those names, arguably, you could expose, like, well, this person and you know, this person. I'm not going to get too much into that, exactly who these people are. But th these are men who are very rich, very powerful, and they are the ones donating to these presidential campaigns. Therefore... They own that presidential candidate. Most people, or at least a lot of people, already know this. But if you threw all these people, these former presidents and the current president in jail, they're going to start really exposing the truth to save their own ass. But they don't have to do that now. You just keep your mouth shut and go go do your podcast tours. Go, go do a... Go speak at an event and get paid 25, 50, 100 grand or whatever it is and just go and live an easy life. You've done your four or eight year term, but keep your mouth shut. Trump has pissed off a lot of very powerful people. That is why he was convicted on Friday. Bill Clinton paid off, uh, what was her, uh, I can't remember the ladies. The, the lady who like had the the check for eight hundred fifty thousand, and you know she is waving it up. She got that money from Clinton, who paid her off. Hush money. Where's his indictment? It's a clear double standard. And Democrats are making a huge mistake because people like me are going to move over to Trump because you're making Trump seem more endearing now. I don't think that if he gets in office, he's going to have some great term. Okay, I'd, like in two thousand from two thousand seventeen to two thousand twenty one, I'd give him a a C minus, D plus. That's not a great score. I like the the peace deal with North Korea, and I like this first step act program. But he did not drain the swamp. He did not build the wall. He did not end the wars, and he got rolled over by the military industrial complex. Is he going to correct all those mistakes? Is he going to drain the swamp? Last time he picked his cabinet from the swamp, is he going to fix those mistakes? Probably not. I don't believe it. But this kind of stuff makes people like me want to vote for him just to give a giant middle finger back to the establishment, even though Trump is 80 to 90% establishment. The other team's 100%. And Robert Kennedy's chances of winning, again, I still support him, but his chances of winning are, in my opinion, pretty low. A lot of people who are thinking of voting for him right now could switch over to Trump just as a big fuck you to the Democrats. I mean, what, what, they've, what they did on Friday was a fucking disgrace. 
And there's no other way to, to put it. What you've done is, I think there's a poll at Ali, he's six points up. Who knows if that holds up? Polls can be wrong. Generally speaking, they're pretty accurate. Some people overperform, some people under, underperform. But Donald Trump usually outperforms the polls. He is only down by nine points in New York. New, Biden won New York by 23 points. That's huge. That's a landslide. It's down by nine. And considering Trump generally outperforms polls, and you saw what he the rally he held in the Bronx uh, let's see, was a week ago or so, look at all the support he got. Democrats were being interviewed. I'm a Democrat, registered Democrat. I am voting for Donald Trump. This is what these folks are saying. They're flipping people like me or even some of their own over to Trump. And maybe Trump's really only down by four or five points. Or maybe the error, the margin of error goes the other way. Maybe he's down by 10 or 12. Who knows? But New York is getting close to being in play. That's crazy. And I don't know if you guys saw the UFC last night, but it was in New Jersey. Deep blue New Jersey. And you should see the standing ovation he got. Check it out on Twitter. Just type in UFC. There's a video after video of, we want Trump. We want Trump. And when he entered the arena, I mean, he, they, were, he, they were so loud. It was unbelievable. There wasn't a single person not clapping, cheering, or sitting down. They were all on their feet, roaring applause. They're trying to convict him. Oh, they won't vote for a convicted felon. They're going to vote for him even harder now. There's way more enthusiasm to, to support Donald Trump instead of Joe Biden. Like, what? what's the Democrat strategy here? Because it's not working and they keep pushing into it, keep pushing into it. When he was first indicted, his poll, he went up in the polls. He's They're making people like me, who decide elections, generally speaking, by the way, He's, he's becoming more endearing. He's not an endearing person, but he's come, becoming more endearing to independent people like me. Democrats are voting Democrat. Trump supporters are voting Trump supporters. This whole, th 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 those two sides, their votes did not change. My vote or my support might change. And there's tens of millions of Americans just like me who may well, instead of not voting, vote for Trump. Instead of voting for Robert Kennedy, vote for Trump. Cornell West, Jill Stein, they might leave and go to Trump. I don't know for sure, but I bet if you polled 20,000 people, Trump, Biden, RFK, say a month ago versus now, I bet Trump would have more support with it in independence. Maybe not, it's my guess. But from what I'm seeing, the reactions I'm seeing, even from people like on the left, Chris Cuomo even admitted, this is bullshit. Now, maybe they won't vote for Trump, but they're not voting for Biden, or maybe only some of them will. Some are staying home. That's going to hurt Biden's chances. Big time. Trump is leading in a big way in almost every swing state, and New York is within 10 points? Like, what's the end game here? If you're a Democrat supporter, like, like how far do you want this to be pushed? And I've read a lot of comments, oh, why is, does he even have a chance to appeal? Oh, they should put him in jail right now. Why isn't the sentencing right now? Because that's not how a uh, constitutional republic works. They have a process. You don't just, okay, you, you're guilty, you're in jail. No, you get to appeal. Joe Biden even admitted that's his right. And that's how it works. That's how, it's, that's how it should work. You got to make sure you're making the right decision. And a higher level court is definitely going to have a say. When it, the sentencing happens on July 11th, whatever it is, Donald, unless he gets acquitted, he's going to appeal it. And then it's going to go up to the Supreme Court. I, I don't see him spending even a single day in jail. Even if he does, that's not going to stop his supporters. I mean, Democrats, like, what are you doing? I don't want Trump to win the election. I want Robert Kennedy to win the election. But now... I'm just, you know, you've you've baffled us and made us so angry that we want to give you a middle finger back. 
because you've spat in the face of the history and the current state of your country by doing something like this. You know what kind of people throw their political opponents in jail in history? Let's go over a few of them. Joseph Stalin, Adolf Hitler, Idi Amin, uh, Benito Mussolini, Fidel Castro, and more. And now you can add to that list, Joe Biden. Every person that I just named is a terrible person all throughout history. Pol Pot, General Mao, they've all done these things. Communists, dictators, fascists. These are the things that those countries do. And when the Constitution was written, and this is why you can still run as a uh, run for president as a uh, convicted felon, is because some of this stuff happened and the, the, the Constitution was written after. And America saw that this has happened all throughout history, so the, the forefathers who wrote the Constitution understood that you, even if you're a convicted felon, you still should have an opportunity to run because dictators, fascists, communists can just throw you in jail if you run against them. It protects that. I know it's a weird law. It's like, why could you run as a convicted felon? Because if you can't, or if you weren't allowed... Joe Biden, they just throw you in jail, throw you in jail, throw you in jail. Therefore, remaining in power forever. Or for a very, very long time. That's why that's in the Constitution. So, I mean, again, Democrats, I don't, I don't know what the hell you, you guys are thinking. And people who support this, is in, it's insane. It's almost like you want them to win. Why would you want them to win when you hate them so much? But, you know, it's like, oh, no, this is going to work. It, it's probably not going to work. I mean, what a travesty Friday was. And what a dark day in American history. What a terrible thing to do. And then to have the whole world see this and they're laughing. America is supposed to be a powerful, the, the, the best country in the world. It has now also become a banana republic. But this is your strategy, Democrats, fine, but this is going to get ugly. And just remember who started this. So that's going to be it. I know that was a little bit long, but I just, it's been on my mind all day, so I just wanted to kind of get it off my chest. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Um, you know, just generally speaking, what do you think? I always like reading your comments. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button and, and uh, subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps us grow. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with another video.